We only have a couple more videos of our sailing trip up the Sea of Cortez, but the weather was perfect on this day and the girls took advantage for some bikini time. We helped another boat out with some of their lost equipment before checking out a sea lion colony and then sailing down close to La Paz. Beautiful spot here between Isla Partida and uh, Espiritu Santo. Uh, decent night, it was kind of windy. And wind, who knows what it's really like out there right now because it's uh, it's only saying like eight to 10 knots in here, but we're pretty well protected by all these hills around. But occasionally some of it really funnels through here and it gets pretty strong. So, uh, you know, kind of a blowy night. But uh, so about 16 miles to go as so we go out. Hopefully we're protected by this island most of the way down. So it'd be nice and smooth, but, with, but still with good wind. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then head down towards La Paz, a little bay there. It'd be like our first taste of real civilization, like phone service and uh, like restaurants and stuff really for 10 days. So kind of nice. Uh, but it was nice getting away from it all for a while. But packing up now, getting ready to go. Estamos en México para tres meses. And it really helps us speak the language. And that's why it's really convenient that the sponsor of today's video is Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world with its intuitive lessons that help you learn a language through real life conversations. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. And it even offers a 20 day money back guarantee. And spending so much time down here in Mexico, it's really helped us out with our language skills, being able to like just order drinks or food or anything like that. Babbel teaches you real world conversations. Lessons prepare you to have practical conversations about business, travel, and more. And right now Babbel is running a special. So if you click the link down in the description or scan the QR code popping up right here, you can save 60% off your subscription. And thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video and helping us communicate better down here in Mexico. Yep, thanks Babbel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> As we motored out of the bay, we noticed an abandoned life ring. We figured it fell off a nearby boat, so we were giving it back to them. I guess so. Here, I'm gonna toss it to you, okay? Yeah, maybe. I think you will have one a little bit more. Woo! Hey. I'll be far back. <laughs> Do you get a payment, like a beer or something? Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. Bye. Fun in the morning. Like, Why is that boat coming so close to yeah. us? <laughs> they were like, uh... <laughs> motored out of the bay and found some pretty great conditions for sailing, so put the sails out. It was great conditions sailing downwind in 12 knots, and the island protected us from the seas. Are you enjoying it out here? It's amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I do a lot of... Okay. It's a bit rolly out here today, unfortunately. But... With the wind, with the sun, everything, amazing. 10 out of 10. Yeah, unfortunately, when uh, the wind drops off like it has, but the seas are still wavy from the day before when it was pretty windy. It's just rolly out here now because there's not enough wind to sail to keep us stable. Um, Cause you know, normally if you have a sail up, it kind of keeps you from healing over, to, or not from healing, but from uh, rolling too much. So not enough wind for that. On our way south, we passed a sea lion colony. It's 
so random. They're just like lying on their back. That's dolphins. It's not yeah, dolphins, they're sea lions. Smelly. Oh, there's one here. Yeah. Well, is that cool? Yeah, it was really cool. But kind of weird. I think we woke two up. Two up playing around though. What uh, you guys smell like? That's, so all those rocks, they're not painted white. That's bird shit and it smells like it. It's good. You get too close to it, it's a little rank. He's After spending the last week fairly isolated up the Sea of Cortez, it felt a little odd pulling back into a commercial bay with lots of other yachts. Taught me and I taught Willa. Yay! We done? No, this is close. We did it. Nice. We pulled into Playa Pichilingue where there were several things we haven't seen in a while multiple restaurants and a small marina. Even though it was a bit more commercial, it was still a beautiful spot. Loaded up to head in and actually have lunch on the beach. Thanks. Oh my god. the dinghy and found the most welcoming looking restaurant. You can't beat the atmosphere or the location and the food was pretty good. Good luck. Three, two, two one, go. 
I know, I told you. We had only started sailing 10 days previously, but the water had already cooled off. The water's chilly. He, he. Water is a little chilly when it reaches a certain point. What point is that? I don't know, but I'm at that point. I'm just slowly, slowly dying. It's a little chilly, but it's nice. Wait, what? In general, we call balls eggs. They have the shape of the egg. Well, in Mexico, they do the same thing. They're called huevos. Huevos? Sure. Huevos. Yeah, look, we're just yeah. <gasps> No. Don't even. No. No! Ah! No! The poor beer. So salty now. No. <laughs> oh no. No! No! I think now we have to go on the water. Okay, you can oh, get me. Yeah. <laughs> go. yeah! See? Alright. That's not with me. Three. Jerks. Two. Oh, well it's fresh. Are you being a weenie? Yeah. Big giant hairy weenie. We spent the rest of the afternoon on the beach and then headed back to the boat for sunset. After sunset, we loaded up in the dinghy to head into the marina where there was a pretty nice little restaurant. Thank you so much to our patrons and channel members for making this channel possible. They got early access to this video, exclusive access to our live tracker, and the director's cut version of this video. So click the join button or head over to patreon.com slash sailing doodles and sign up today. Thank you.